Mayang buntang sa tanan. Ang ngawad yun ang inuuna ko dako. God is great. Usa ka preacher, nagwali siya, nagsubot siya sa iyang introduction by asking the congregation, Who is your God? Iyang ginitugutan ang um, pipilag ang mga Christians na magtubag o subot ang tubag ang mga membro ay nila. They, they address the answer by, by, by they, they address the question sa pagtubag this way. Our God is great. Tignan ko sa Our God is the Creator. Our God is Jesus. Our God is Jehovah. Our God is faithful. Daghan kasi siya nagtawag sa nagtindo ko ng ispan sa tubag. But the preacher was was waiting for an answer like this. My God is great. Usahay, ang pagtawag nito sa ginoo, murang dinig ayo in a personal way. Sometimes it sounds like he is the God of a group known as the father of many. Pero mga bisuhan nun, lain na yung epikto when you call him that God is my God. Akong ginoo. Ha? Akong ginoo. Usag na, usa na pag, pag personalize sa sa relasyon. Pagpadayag kung unsagin ang ginoo sa tua o kinasaputa sa ginoo. Kaya nung domo, usa ka espesyal, usa ka guwapo, nindod kay ang versikulo sa John 1.12 But as many as received Him, to them gave me the right or power to become His children. And that is a wonderful verse na nag-isigot sa ato ang espesyal, unique na relationship nga to sa balaan ng Gino. Please open your Bibles again sa Exodus chapter 3. Ako na yung nabitot na nga account tungod sa yun sa pag-introduce sa ginoo sa yung kabalim mong nga tukay Moses. I will read verse 7, no verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Asa, the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look upon God. Wala na mention, but it was understood and implied that God was introducing Himself to Moses as Moses God. Ako ang ginuo sa imuang mga ginikanan o sa imuang amahan nga si Abraham, Isaac, o Jacob. Then later, ipakita sa ginuo kung unsa siya na ginuo nga ito sa iyang mga katawahan o ang mga Israel. Matthew chapter 14 Muna yung atong text ko ng Bunpag Matthew chapter 14 26 and 27 And when the disciples saw him walking in the sea they were troubled I want you to take note the words so, troubled, cried out for fear, and in verse 27, straightway, spake, and the last phrase, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. The confidence amid storms. Um, kusong, kumpiyansa, di akaliwala sa bagyo. Jeremiah 29, 11, God knew what He is doing for our future. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 5, 
gi-instruct ni Apostle Paul ang Thessalonian Church sa daghan ng mga rules sa kinabuhi. Telling them that it was God's will. Kung gusto na mention dito ang paghatag o pagpasalaman sa matang sirkumstansya. Job 28 verse 26 Psalm 23 verse 4 Psalm 142 verse 1 and 2 Exodus 33 verse 15 and Romans 8:28. These verses, kaniyang mga bersikulo mga Kristo hamon, nagisgot sila sa sa kabubuton plano mga pagtunghimo sa ginoo na dapat ta uh, makakuha o kumpiyansa. We go bisag kada oras pa Romans 8:28. All things work together for good to them that love God. In short, sa mga luwas, mga kristuhanon, nga nagsubisi, nagsubitar sa ilang kawagot ng ito sa ginoo. Ang atong ginoo, gusto siya na puno ng atong kasing-kasing with joy, peace, and confidence. Especially in times that, that doubts ang kanang mga pagduha-duha, mura ginapang sabwag ni Satan sa atong muna-una. Kana nga panahon gusto sa Ginoo nga atong kasing-kasing magpuno magpuno siya sa kalipay ug kalinaw nga magresulta nga joy plus peace equals confidence equals hope Usa ka disposition sa usa ka Kristohan ug niya in every circumstance good or bad cut or prolonged to remain calm peaceful and hopeful depends on our personality and spirituality summed up as perspective nakadunaw ko lang atong mga perspective in life mga panglantaw, mga panahot ang, ang atong eksperyensya sa panahon sa mga dili maayong na mga sitwasyon mubo naman sa mga pag-antos o taas ang pagpapilin ng mga kalma, puno sa paglaom, malinaon, nagadepende sa atong personalidad o spiritualidad. But the other demonia, above all, it depends on our knowledge and faith. Doon ay mga kisuhan mo, mga pagnasa'y problema, they were so down. Napin mga kisuhan mo, mga problema, murag-ulat na may problema. Maybe it's a matter of personality, but I believe that it, it's a matter of knowledge and faith toward God. Ingon pa ni Jesus sa mga disciples niya, nga nga trouble, ingon pa niya, Don't be afraid, it is I. Or ingon niya, in ang phrase, it is me. There is something, there is relationship between these troubled disciples and this me, Jesus Christ. Pagkakita nila kay Jesus sa usang ka, usang ka tao na nagkataon sa dagat ng nila, they, they thought it, it was a ghost. O pwede lang ang druga in verse 25, 26. They were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And they crowd, at, they crowd out for fear. But straightway Jesus paid unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Ako na Kung saan mo na ito na magmalipayong ka, na magmalinawang ka, kung puno sa paglaw ang atong kinabuhi sa panahon nga, sa panahon nga, nga doon ay sakit, sa panahon nga doon ay nangamatay, nga mga, mga hinigok na. How to be, how to be, to be rela how to relax, how to be with peace or at peace when, when accident happens. How to be happy or joyful when, when, when poverty ang kapubrihon lisod yun. Kung saan nga maglipay ka, magmalinaon ka, kung doon ay mga, doon ay mga, mga problema sa panglawa sa imong, sa imong kaubalingan o sa ubang na membro sa panimalay. 
Nung ng Bible nga, in every circumstance, be at peace, be joyful, be hopeful. Moto siya, ang broad nga picture sa 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 uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, ikan si Baba pa doon sa 18. Sometimes, to be, to be biblical, aning aspect, mura siya hypocrisy. Diba? Lisod kaya itong kahintang, pero gaan mo na itong kasing-kasing. Lisod na itong kahintang, doon ay mga, mga hurts, doon ay pains, doon ay mga, mga un, unmet nga mga needs, doon ay mga, mga prayers nga, nga seemingly mura, mura deny. Doon ay mga desires nga unfulfilled. How to be joyful? But Christians, each picture has two sides. Listen to this. The left side and the right side. Each side has different angle or view. Nagkalinaayos ng mga view. Kung ganahan ko na ako'y picture na, ganahan kayo ko kayo. Baka po kayo pagkalakuhas ang view ba? Baka po kayo kayo ko. Dili. Kaya if we compare sa ba ng mga picture, pangit yung gabalo nga no? Kika ito ng picture, wala na kalit pag akong buhok, last time ay dali. Hindi hindi ka maklaro kung upaw. Sa upan ng picture, klaro. So, buha po kayo ang anggil. Pag hindi ka ang anggil mo, ganaan ko ito ng picture. Hindi kinaan ko ito wala ko. Ha? Kung gusto mo mga ayot, tagaan ka mo. Each side has different angular view, so as life, there is the negative and positive side. And it's up to us where to take a look. Kung pirmi lang naman focus to sa negative, kung sige lang mong tanahaw itong picture na kung nawa ko ganahi, hindi na ko gusto ng pa-picture. So, sa tanahaw ko ganahan, kinumang zilin? Hilig kay picture-picture. Ano ba po hiling kong picture-picture? Ano ba po mag... Ang sumunan sa ako, hiling kong picture. Hindi ko ganang picture kayo makita at mong ito. Depende kung asa ito magtutok. Wala nang inyong sa ito ang look at the other side or the other side. I decide where to look. So sa atong kinabuhin, sa atong situation, sa atong mga experiences, I decide, ako ang nag-decide, asa ko na tanaw, o ako ko na nag-decide, how should I respond to what I am looking to? Atong position ka ng puntan. A heart that is peaceful, a heart that is joyful and confident, is the heart that conceived Naga, nagatubo sa sulod sa kasing-kasing ang, ang pangunahuna na pasalamatan ang ginoo sa tanan ng mga pangitabo it's because we know and we believe that all things work together for good wala na ilalis sana we know, iba, knowing and believing that all things, bad or good will work together for our good pero mo lagi, panahon nga Dili maya itong kahintang, kanang na versikulo, mula pula ipikto, no? Yung gusto sa kanta, Jesus uh, isn't enough kung sa ito ang mga sabi. Nakalibot na ito. Reciting all those verses that won't do. Not in my experiences, Anna. But thank be to God because Jesus is enough. Knowing and believing that all things were to get what would work or cooperate and contribute for one purpose, and that is in Romans 828, for the good of the believers. For those people who love God and called according to his purpose. Again, I'd like to mention this. They saw him. And when they saw him, they were troubled. And they cried for fear. But thanks be to God, straightway Jesus spoke to them, comforting them, assuring them that you should not be afraid because it is I. Na yung mga kahitang sa kinabuhin, kung nagbubot kayo ng pangita ko, ba't wala ka kabalo, ilalang pa ito, God is working. He is working out something that is good for me, something good for you. But it is a 
it, it is uh, a trend that at our first glance at the situation, we are troubled. Ah, we troubled. Na ay mga kapulangon, mga uncertainties na nakaglukta. But God is working out ilalong ato mga situations. Duha ka butang butang ang ka mga kisuhanon that I believe it is biblical enough na atong kuhaan sa atong kumpiyansa o kusog sa panahon na maluyata. Una, the God that wills ang ginoo nga nagtubot, ang ginoo nga nag nga nag na, na, himo sa mga mga panghitabo, ang ginoo nga nagtubot sa mga panghitabo nga mahitabo sa sa atong kinabuhi sa imong kinabuhi. Ang Dios nga nagdesign sa mga mga scenarios sa imong past, sa present ug sa future possibly is your God. He is your God. Iyon ito pagdalina, usahay ang atong pag-relay, pag-connect sa atong kaugalingon sa ginoo in, in, a, in a broader, in a general way or, or sense. Why not address God? Connect Him to us or connect ourselves to Him, calling Him, My God, atong ginoo. Kung doon ay tuloy ka dahil kung kayo nang kamatuhan about sa atong ginoo, about sa inong ginoo. Ang knowledge ug ang faith nga naas kung kasingkasing yung gunahuna about that God, our God, mauna siya ang maghatag sa ato o hupay o kusog sa panahon nga maluyata. First, nga naman nga di ta mahadlog, di ta mabalaka, tumagi ka ng ginoo nga atong ginoo is a God, is the all-powerful God. Let me read to you Jeremiah 32 verse 17. Jeremiah 32 verse 17. Ang tulong si Gino. Ah, Lord God, behold, Thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Amen. He described me mo ang imo ang ang Dios ni Anasya, and then you 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 close that thought by saying, "You are my God." Maula ang akong ginoo, all powerful, but nothing is hard for him. Nothing is impossible for him. Maula mo na tong ginoo. In days, in times of impossibilities, mga panahon yung dagan, mga imposible, halos mga butang. Impossible, lisod tanan. Always remember that He is your God and He is all-powerful God. He can make things happen, great and mighty things. He turns impossible things into possible, impossible ways, possible, and controllable situations into controllable ones. Even over and against nature, God in His power causes things to happen. Supra na sa nature, against sa nature, God is unlimited or without limit in His power and even in His control. That God, great and all-powerful God, is my God! Ah, nagkagawas na baka, at yung mga kasing-kasing, nagkagawas kasi mong balay, tabi, tapo, kasi-kasi, lumunan ka sa... After you have poured your heart to God, I, 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 pagawas ni mo sa iyong pagkatao ang usa ka kamatuuran. Ikaw ang Dios, ang Creator, ay dagko kay ng mga butang. Thou art fearful, wonderful, great God. You are my God. Ginoo, Ligo na ang akong pagtuong pagsalig sa imo tong tibili ka basta-basta na akong gisaligan. You are the only God and all-powerful God and wala na yung nabaw sa ginoo. Wala na yung nabaw sa ginoo. And He is your Heavenly Father who loves you so much. 
insecure ka, kinulubuli na higong kumasi mo, you are wrong. More than 2,000 years ago, God has shown His love for you when He died on the cross. God is the all-powerful God. And why, why, why don't you just say in your heart or somehow, sometime, you are my God. Faithful God. Understanding. And secondly, that God, that is your God, is not only all-powerful God, He is also all-wise God. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Yun ang pulong sa ginoo. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. From the ancient times the things that are not yet done. Nakabalo na ang ginoo na disilino, determined na ginoo na iyan itong buhaton. Because not only that he knew all things, God is sure about everything. Muna sa Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, I know the thoughts that I have for you. Muna ang confidence ang gusto sa ginunas ng kasing-kasing. Believing that God who knows everything is also sure about everything. He does no mistakes in timing, in size, in shape, in the amount, in degree. Wala ginagasabot na lang na sa'yo ang gino. In all His ways, God is perfect. Why? Because He knew all things. And He can do everything. Pero mga Kristuhanon, sometimes we doubt. Then we see His marvelous works. We are wondering, then we understand. Nginanak siya. Pero tulay mga panahon itong kinabuhi nga lisod na tumasabta ng iyan mga ginapang trabaho. Ito na siya ang panahon nga nga ma-challenge na atong pagsalip sa gino. That even though we can we can see Him working, we can see the trace of His hand. Isa yung sa kanta, trust His heart. When we don't understand what is happening around us, bow the knee. Confidence na sa kasing-kasing. Ingong pa ninyo ni Daniel with his friends, bisag ang saon ninyo mo, kung luwasong ninyo sa anong ginawa, dili, dili, get me mo, mo, mo simba sa inyong inyong imahe. Ang punto pa nga, doon ay mga panahon nga, dili, i-justify sa ginawa ang iyahang, ang iyahang pagka, pagka, ah, rescuer. Muna delay, doon ay mga, mga 11th hour ang working sa ginawa. Provision pa man ang nang kahimutan. Muna grito ko sa hay, ngit-ngit atong panangaw, pero, Nagsalik yan kung sa gino. Because we live not by sight. We live by faith. All wise God, He is omniscient. In Psalm 139 verse 1. Ingam sa pulong sa gino, Psalm 139 verse 1. O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-seating and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knowest it altogether. Verse 5. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Christian, such knowledge is too wonderful for us. Amen. So wonderful. He makes no mistakes. Sa pinakagamay ng detail sa itong kinabuhi, ingon pa sa usaka, preacher, sa even the minute, my, my test thing, pinagkagamay yun, ng butang sa kinabuhi sa usaka Kristuhanon. God knows and God cares. Amen. Ngayon doon katong Wednesday, si Mrs. Magayon, kung narelate na po itong uh, for 40 years na ang sandal sa mga Israelites, wala po nagbuma. Ang ilang mga sinina. 
because God took care of them. Let's just trust His heart and believe that there is no imperfection in our God. And He is all the way wise and reasonable. Sa mga kalitog na ito, mga pistuhan, o sa reputation ni Munya, God remain to be God even if He does not explain. Because He is all the way reasonable. Sometimes we, 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 we raise a question like, What is this Lord? Why? But then we know that in a kinangas, we know, explain just to justify Himself. He is all the way and all together right and wise. God works both in a simple and sophisticated ways. Sometimes we understood, sometimes we didn't. Sometimes favorable, sometimes not favorable. But Christians, whatever it is, God knew what He is doing. Punuan ba sa atong kumpiyansa pagsalig sa ginoo? Sometimes we don't understand. We can see Him working. But we believe that He knew what He is doing. Maganda sa ginoo. Lord, I am hurt. I am in pain. I am struggling. I am doubting. One time the apostles asked, the, the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, help us with our unbelief. But one thing is sure, sa tawag alang kahinta ng mga lisod kayo, we stay believing. Oo, kita sa ginoo mga kisuhan that He is the all-knowing God. What he is doing is right, and what he is doing is for our good. What he is planning in Jeremiah 29:11 is to give us a good future and good end. Kinsidin mo sa lek si kino, the all-powerful God and all-knowing God. Ikatulo, kinasya all-powerful God, all-knowing God, God. Your God, my God, is an unchanging God. Malakay 3.6 Yung ni Prophet Malakay For I am the Lord, I change not. It was God who declares Himself to be immutability. People change. Usaka mag-uyab. Imuntong kay ang deliver man ng lalaki. Imuntong ang lalaki nga. Sa, in good term pa sila sa babae nga Christian. Ayun siya nga. Bisa kung siya nita po, digil ko mong pabotis mo sa inyo ha. Ayun sa lalaki nga, ang deliver. There's such time na murang nagkalabuan ang ilahang relationship. Nga murang. Pwede buhato na yun sa lalaki, talaga yung buhato para magkaulit sila. Kabulo ka, sige mo sa lalaki. Magpapaktais. Isokmatan siya. Ah, binuog ni. Ingunin mo, hindi kid ka magpapautis mo sa anong simbahan. Kabulo ka, sige tapag niya. People change. Binuog ni tapo. You will change. I will change. But God will never change. Amen. In His promises, sa iya mga disposition, sa mga mga plano sa ginoo, He will never change. Listen to this, my Christians. God, in His pleasure, in His delight, in His goodness, in His long suffering, in His forgiveness, in His loving kindness, in His understanding, in His mercy and grace, in His power, in His plans and purpose, in His love and patience. In His justice and holiness, God never changed. And He is your God. Ato siya ang ginoo. Katong ginoo nga nagpatabog sa ila sa Red Sea. Katong ginoo nga nagbuba sa Jericho. Katong ginoo nga nagpastop sa Karen sa Jordan River. The same God, He never changed. They are their God and He is our God. Mula ito nga ginoo. Mula na usam. The God that's making the Egyptians with plagues. The God that stopped the sun in its routine in the time of Joshua. When Joshua says, stand still. The God that feds a prophet by a raven. 
the God that opened the womb of Sarah, the God that opened the womb of Rachel and of Hannah, the God that answers prayers, the God that heals Naaman, the God that adds more 15 years to Hezekiah, the God that sends fire from heaven to burn Elijah's sacrifices at Mount Carmel, the God that destroyed Jericho, the God that thankfully provides the, the needs of his children. He doesn't change. He is the same God from before and now and even for the future. Amen. The God that honors the faith of many, the God that prospers Joseph, the God that heals the lame, the blind, the lepers, and all kinds of sickness, and even the God that raises up the dead. He does not change. Amen. And that is your God. But we do change. We never change. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not dead. His mercy, his long suffering, his love, patience, he never changed. That powerful God, all knowing God, and unchanging God is your God, and He is our Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Nakadong naman tayo ng mga nestle in illustration. A boy on board in a plane. Dito sa dada sa himpapawe, kahit na nagduna ay turbulence tapos. Tanan mga passengers sa plane, uh, problema ng handbook, they were shouting, crying, calling their saints and gods. Katong bata, naratay sa ibigana, naging cold plane, it's gotcha. If nothing happened. Isa ka lalaki na nagkapunikit na handbook na tayo, nakanotis siya. He said, Hey! What are you doing? Are you not afraid? Huh? Any time now, puwit na ta, puwit na mga, mga mabungkam, puwit na mga hulog sa ubos, we could, we could die. And the boy, yung palito, playing with that gadget, yun siya. I ain't afraid. Why? Why? Wag ka kabalo na. Lain na itong kahinta. And the boy smiled at him, Staring his eyes, and then, my father is the pilot. When was the last time that you are at peace? Though you have problems, you give your smile, though your heart is heavy, because you know that he is your father. He can have you. Psalm 23 verse 4 Yet though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art me. Hindi ko kitaw na sa ilupod at aswa na sa iyong pagkako. Lain yan ako. In a way, Christians, how strong is our confidence, belief in God? Na sa panahon ng isutong kahintang, we can still smile, we can still relate to other people as if nothing happens. Ang wala lang problema. Sickness, illnesses. You are depressed, and discouraged of an unanswered prayer. And to sum them up, it seems that heaven is silent. But if you believe in God, you are fine. We are fine. If you believe in Him. What a confidence, what a peace. Are we burdened with, with, this, with all these, these problems, illnesses, poverty, threats, uncertainties, unfulfilled desires and dreams? Just look up and have a thought of God. The creator of the vast universe. The one who desires that solar system. The one who desires, who designs you. 
Ang ginoo nga nag-design sa ato ah. Designer of all created things, creator of all things, the all-powerful God, the sovereign God, all-knowing God, the God who is perfect in all these ways, the God who makes no mistakes, that God is your God. And listen to this vision. We are specially related to the all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-wise God. We are His children. Anak kita niya. Be still and know that I am your God, your refuge and strength and your help. Though mountains may shake and waters may roar, I am your God forevermore. When the disciples saw him, they thought he was a ghost. They were troubled. But Jesus told him, It is me, your all powerful God. When they cried for help or because of fear, Jesus told him, It is me, the all-knowing God. It is me, the unchanging God. Don't be afraid. afraid. Be of good cheer. It is me, Jesus. Mga storms ba sa itong pinabuhi? Nga risudid kayo. Walang may superman, superwoman sa mga trials. There is a good thing to keep that thought in our hearts, in our minds, Jesus says, don't be afraid, it is me. I am Jesus. And I am your God. I am your God. Second, we must have the biblical foundations atong confidence or trust sa ginoong atong Diyos and all-powerful God, all-knowing God, and unchanging God, Ikaduma, dapat naata ang naglipon biblikal nga kumpiyan sa pagsalig sa iyaha. Tungod kay kanang ginoong na nagtugot sa mga pangitabo, nagtugot sa mga balatian, nagtugot sa mga kawadon, nagtugot sa mga pagsakit, di lang siya imong ginoo, but He also promises to be with you and to stay with you. Katong damharan kayo ang ginoo, and all-knowing God, he knew all things, He created all things, and He never changes. That God promised you that He will stay with you and with me. You can you imagine? Kaubal-ubal ng film si si Osama bin Laden. Okay? Atong naon naon. Muno man mo sa film eh. Atong niya, sa pagkubal-ubal ng yung film eh, may IP pa dito ka. Hindi ako mo doon. Murang. Pati gina mahita bukod. Di gina mahita bukod. Ang kaupan niyo si Bin, uh, Bin Laden na no, umisulti. Binigay si kanong presiden ba sa Amerika ba? Obama. <laughs> Kahadlok ko na Bin Laden no? Banto ko na nga nang hadlok inyong naong. Si Obama ba, president sa USA, He will be with you, to stay with you, and you shall be treated as a VIP. Ang kaya, as a as a hadlok. Huwag ang confidence mag-grow sa inyong kasing-kasing. Maybe, I don't know, sa tawahanan nung no, magtukot ko ang boast, ang pride. Pero sa laing bahay ba, kanilang idea that God is with us. Ang confidence na mag-grow, makonceive itong kasing-kasing sa tibok itong pagkatao. Na di kita mahandog, bisa maglakaw ka sa landong sa kamatayo. Because thou art with me. Hintot kaya ng Pistola nung. What are the implications if God is with us? Romans 8.31 If God is for us, who can be against us? Genesis 28.15 God promised to Jacob, Jacob, I will be with you. I will stay with you. Kung pag sipat na ikan kay Saul. To Joshua yung nang ginoo, I will be with you and you shall prosper. In 2 Chronicles 28.20 to Solomon, Solomon, I will be with you, or God, my God, will be with you, will prosper you. And one thing that is beautiful in Hebrews 13 verse 5 to all believers, I shall never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Di rin tagit kabiyaan. Iwan pa sa usag ka nag-translate. I will never, ever leave you. 
nor forsake him. Christians, if God is in us, with us, and for us, security is secure. And speaking of security, our eternal security, we are sure to heaven. Dini sa kalibutan, wala nang promise ang ginawa dito ni harm, hindi ta ma-hurt, but he says, we shall not be moved. Hindi ta ma-matayo, hindi ta ma-matayo. Sometimes we are surrounded with our enemies, even in times of, of trials, storms, that raging seas cannot frighten us. Dito makahadlog sa tuwa. Why? Because God is with us. Now, can you imagine or recall that life 40 years dito sa wilderness? God has been dealing closely. Anytime may story ni Moses ang ginoo, anytime madungga nila ang ginoo, inato ka close, inato ang presensya sa ginoo. Security, safety was was secured. Second, success. Joshua 1, 7 and 8, Genesis 13, 2 to 5, Kay Joseph. Please open your Bibles. Genesis 20, 39. Nindot kayo ang pagka-describe sa kinaguhin ni Joseph those days that God was with him. Genesis 39, 2-5 Please read that with your eyes. Look at the pool of Sigino. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had he put into his hand. In verse 5, And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. God was with him. Dito kayo po i-describe ka sa mga tao, God is with you. Nung sa kayo naong nino, nung sa kayo naong nato, kung kabiwin po mga tao nga, ang ginawa ba? Gets ko ba nino ba? Nung sa buhay na nakita sa itong naong. Pero ang nakikita ni sa ni ni Potiphar was the blessings of God because of Joseph. And he concluded, that made that was made that that was made possible because God prospered him. Success. Then three, say that, let us see. The, the 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 presence of God. The last implication of God being with us is that God will sustain us with His grace. No wonder Ralph is well in Exodus 33 verse 15 that Moses ingunia ginoo. Kung di man lang ka sa mua, ayaw na may palakwa. Because Moses knew that without God's presence, wala sila yung sustenance. Wala sila yung power, wala sila yung safety, wala sila yung kusog. Yung nga nung ipadala ko man sila ni Moses, if thy presence go not with us, carry not us any distance. As long as thou art with us, we are safe and fine. That wilderness life of God's people. Pwede pa rin yung kutsa sa kinanguhin nato ko ng mga panahon, yung mga nisuki ng panahon. Pero salamat sa grasya sa ginoo that sustain us. In God kayo no, at the end of the day, the Lord thank you for your grace. Salamat kinoo sa inong grasya. Mga Kristuhan, ang usahay, kanina itong mga anak ikaw, na amazed ko sa mga ginapangnimo sa mga bata, kanang sila lang, na um, mag-explore sa mga bata. Pero kapano, so ako na, mas, mas, I don't know if the word is, is correct, but somehow I am flattered of seeing them or her, si Kayla, do greater things when I am with her. 
Lipay doon sa mga bata naman, nag-iimong sila ng activities sila lang, pero kapalong mo, daghan sa may inong mga dagkop pa ng mga butang pagkauban nila ay ng mga papag mga mga. Ang kaulaw, wala. Ang um, pagka-openness sila, pag-explore na uh, believing that nakakauban nila ang ilang mga protector. Nakakauban nila ang ilang mga mga tao na tigugma sila na nag-care sila. The same as with God. Because God is with us, we can perform greater things. Because God is with us, because God is in us, and God is for us, we can perform greater things. We can do, we can do more than just, more than just what we are doing these present times. Kung unsa kita himo ni mo karon, makahimo pa kita ng dako pa yung why? Because God is with us. His presence is our strength. His presence is our refuge. His presence is our help. That is God. And to recall that powerful God, all-knowing God, and unchanging God. Christians, our confidence in Him, our trust in Him will inspire us, will encourage us. Sometimes we are down, sometimes we are weak. Let's check our confidence. Let's check our trust, our belief in Him. Nagsalig ba kita sa iya? Are we truly, deeply relating to Him as my God? My God! Di lang nga atong ginoo, akong ginoo. Mas personal siya. The all-powerful God, the all-knowing God, and the unchanging God is your God. Is my God. Nothing is impossible with Him. He knew all things and He never changes from the beginning. He was, He is, and will always be the same. He is your God. That same powerful God who promises to be with you, to prosper you, to preserve you, and sustain you with all His goodness, with all His faithfulness, with all His long-suffering, with all His understanding and patience. God will sustain us with His presence, with His power. And He is our God. When the troubles of doubts, fear of uncertainties, worries of illness, unmet needs, pressure, stress, and unanswered prayers came along our ways. Naas na nagampuag sila sa tanggalan. Nagabambag sila. It seems to be a great wall that needs to be break through just to live believing in Him. Natin mga mga turning points, mga breakthroughs ng kinabuhi. Na yung mga walls ng kinabuhi na dapat atong, atong bungkagon. And those are the walls of doubts, fear, worries, insecurities. May God would help us and spare us from, from feeling that insecurity. Because we should not be insecure. Mga Kristuhan, hindi kita dapat na insecure. Imo na din muna muna kay insecure ka. Because at the beginning, from the beginning, at first, God loved you. Di ko magigit ka sa kinu. When all these walls come along our ways, remember that God is your God. He is powerful God. He is faithful God. He understands. He is patient. He is long-suffering. He waits. And He loved your company. That is your God. Who promised to be with us, to satisfy us, and to finish the work He had started in us and for us. Philippians 1.6 Being confident of this very thing that He which had begun a good work in you will finish it until the day of Jesus Christ. Christians, when you feel frightened, nahadlok ka, nabalaka ka, you are shaken with fear, wondering, doubt fills your mind. Jesus says, it is I, don't be afraid. Biblical confident, enough to be the source of our all day long strength and inspiration. He is our God. Amen.